So, I play a lot of Minecraft. So much, in fact, that if somebody somehow managed to show me the total playtime I've played in Minecraft, I think I'd contemplate my life to a level I'm not comfortable with. Hey, quick pause. This is the VR video you clicked on. Just, just bear with me for a second. I promise it'll be worth it. But in all my years playing, there is something I never fully understood about Minecraft. It's the hackers and the dupers. While sure, I kind of understand the feeling of power and chaos it gives, the harsh reality is that, in the end, it all feels quite empty. Like, I don't believe there will ever be a hacker or a duper who goes out and looks out at the beautiful coast, the water waving, and the beach in front of them, thinking, wow, I achieved something great today. Ah, but I guess I shouldn't really worry about that now. Let's deal with this fucker. <sighs> Alright, motherfucker, you've been fucking cheating on my goddamn fucking son! Oh my fucking god. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, here's the king. You can either fucking end up in that fucking ocean, or you're gonna play some fucking VR with me. Yeah, you're gonna play some VR? Yeah, you're gonna play some fucking VR? What a fucking fort. And just like that, we can avoid the whole Craigslist ad joke that I did last time around and skip to the VR showdown. This is actually the second VR showdown I've ever done, meaning that this is now technically a repeating series. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. This is because VR really breaks down the boundaries between a regular person and a gamer. For instance, let's say you've got a celebrity guest. What will they enjoy and connect with more? Getting their ass handed to them by me in multiverses because I'm literally in the top 10% of players, or a real life simulation where they can take out their frustrations in a totally normal and healthy way? Plus, the way that you play VR is so much more intuitive, especially with something like the Valve Index, which allows you to control the virtual environment using your own body. Something you've been using your whole life, meaning even a veteran VR player can get their ass handed to them by somebody brand new to the game. Today's opponent is my lover replacement Lister. He is a good friend, well, mate, well, acquaintance of mine, and you might know him better as Russian Duck. Conrad, or hell, if you recently lost a game of Rainbow Six Siege, you might even know him as Bust My Bunker. He was the perfect opponent for me to test my razor sharp VR skills on. We made a list of games we were going to tackle in a best of five scenario. After a deep discussion, we determined that the games were going to be Gorn, Beat Saber, The Lab Archery Game, Blade and Sorcery, and finally, Super Hot. Because like always, my opponents are super hot. With the games picked out, we dove straight into Gorn, and I won't lie, I was feeling rather confident. I played Gorn way back when on my Oculus Rift headset, so I knew a thing or two about how to destroy my opponents. While some try and attack in a fair manner, I altered my attack style, becoming a little ankle gremlin. <laughs> Give me them ankles! Yo, that toe looks real, real edible. However, no monster can last forever. ARE YOU NOT ENTERTAINED?! <laughs> ah! No. no. No, 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 no. I refuse. Oh, fuck! Oh, where the fuck am I? Am I in the middle? Resta? Am I in the middle of the room? Many. I think these guys might just spawn until I kill this guy. Fuck. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I'm back. I'm not dead yet, boys. No no no. After my insane performance of 60 kills, Lister was shocked at the monster I was during my playthrough. As he strapped on the headset, he had nothing but fear. I mean, how could he possibly compete with 60 bloody kills? Emphasis on the bloody. But despite this fear, once the headset was on, Lister became a monster of his own. I honestly couldn't believe what I was watching. Outside of a few moments of clarity, you have no arms! Lister was truly a monster of another tier. 
While I may have been King Kong, he was Godzilla. As the battle continued, I was worried he might never stop. Or worse, he might become so interlinked with the game, he would go on a killing frenzy in real life, and kill me for the whole ocean boot incident, which was fresh in his mind. This is the part where you should be concerned for forgetting that scene so quickly. Your caveman brain saw the violence on screen and moved on like we didn't have to kidnap Lister to get here. Luckily, my fears of Lister's vengeance were culled when he went up against a group of elite gladiators, which proved too much to handle. Oh, Jan. However, despite this defeat, Lister did manage to win Gorn overall, as he managed to get 72 kills, meaning he was the winner of this first game. But how is this possible? I'm Kuba, that's my name by the way, one of the most naturally gifted players of all time, a master of the digital plane, a man worshipped as a god that one time, and who could forget that I am the man with raging narcissistic tendencies and such I cannot believe this mere commoner could defeat me in a bout of physical and mental gymnastics. It's simply preposterous. Or at least that's what I thought in my head until I realized Lister actually owned a VR headset of his own. And as said previously, VR is actually a very fair playing field for people of varying experience, meaning realistically it was very possible I could lose this entire thing and ruin my 100% win rate. But this new information lit me up like never before, and just in time for our next game, Beat Saber. And let's just say I have some experience playing Beat Saber, as I used to hold a couple top 100 positions in the game. Lister and I tried to account for the imbalance in ability by allowing him to perform songs on the hard difficulty while I had to use the expert difficulty. With this in mind, I have to keep the following clips rather brief because the game Beat Saber uses music, which I believe might get me copyright struck, I'm not sure, but let's just talk over these just to be safe. Myself and Lister went song for song, leading up to one of the newest songs in the roster, I Wanna Be A Machine by The Living Tombstone. While Lister did do very well, he instantly knew he was outmatched. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, you've yeah, won this one, bro. Yeah. And to be honest, this was kind of planned by me. See, every official OST volume of Beat Saber is very well designed, as every single OST becomes slightly harder than the last. For instance, Easy Mode on OST Volume 3 is drastically harder than Easy Mode on OST Volume 1. With this slowly increasing difficulty, by the time we reached I Wanna Be A Machine, which is in OST Volume 5, Lister could barely handle the difficulty spike, while I was able to handle my own as realistically in all previous OST volumes, I could just about handle the Expert Plus difficulty, meaning this newest Expert song was only really touching the same difficulty as tracks I've done previously on Expert Plus. So basically, we scammed them boys, GG, no re, easy clap. <laughs> Fuck. With one win each, we moved on to the next game, the Lab Archery game. This is a wave-based castle defense game where you have to use a bow and arrow to stop the invading force. I decided to go first, but I hadn't touched this game for a very long time, so I had one minor issue. I'm trying to remember which way I grabbed- wait, what? Wait. I can't remember if I do it this way or if I- oh, it does it not let me? Oh, I can. Oi. Oi. How do I... Actually, yeah, I'll probably do shoot this way. Fuck it. Right, so yeah, your castle has, like, a, a health. If you shoot the balloons, you get some health back. And it's, yeah, shooting- oh my god. Oh no. Oh, I'm bad. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh my- my guy, stop doing somersaults! I'm so bad. I don't think this is the right hand. I think I need to use my other hand. Fuck. Okay, we'll go inside. We'll go in fucking Lego last, my guy. See, for some reason, my brain decided to use my left hand to hold the bow. This is actually twice as stupid, because not only am I right-handed, 
I also have an injury in my left shoulder, meaning after a while I became really tired and could barely hold my arm up to aim. Oh. I mean, it's the end. Oh, I don't have the strength. My god. No. Yes! Ah, oh, ah, oh, my hand. Okay, I need to play some. I need to play smarter. No, no. Oh, I can't even fucking lift it that high. No, no. I'm blaming that on my shoulder. You know what though, 21, wave 21, I'll take that. Despite using the wrong hand and being kind of a whiny bitch about it, I finished with a respectable 21 waves. Now, it was Lister's turn. Fuck you. Lister fought really hard and did some truly amazing shooting, but he too started to become tired. Oh, you fucker, you didn't even die. Oh, no. No! Ah, oh, fuck. I see me left arm's getting tired now. That's my phone. Uh. No! This is it. No! How are yeah. Oh, 21! 21! I'm not fucking leaving! I'm not fucking leaving! Since we couldn't leave a game on draw, we decided to try again. But this time, I was ready. I was gonna use my dominant, not injured hand. I lied. <laughs> Oh god, oh, this right hand, oh! <laughs> I was doing far better than before, but we all get tired eventually. No! No! Oh, 27. Holy shit! Okay, so the gate's just open. Okay. No. It was such a waste. Such a waste again! No! Oh! No! No! Wow! What a fucking leaving! <laughs> Eyes up, eyes up, eyes up. Multi kill, no, not multi kill. No, no. Oh, please, 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 no. Wave 28, though. And now it was Lister's turn. Could he beat my wave 28? No. Mommy, I'm scared. Okay. Nah, this is it. Oh, oh, I've repaired the gate though. <laughs> repaired the gate. Oh, that was a fucking end as well. Yeah, well. GG? Yeah. Well, looks like Lister couldn't beat my wave, meaning I was now up one point, and with Blade and Sorcery up next, a fresh game for the both of us, it was very possible that this would be our final game. Lister was now on the ropes. We booted up the game for the first time, and realised we had no fucking idea what was going on. Uh... Sandbox? Chris Orphan? Sandbox? Sandbox. Okay. Hink. Let's 
one of these games. Ugh. <gasps> It is. Uh, how do I get it further away? Eh. Okay, um, uh, that went further than expected. Okay. Yep. Ka! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it worked! <laughs> Ka! Wait. Ka! I feel like I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Eventually, I became desperate and went on a side quest. We're fucking Marioing it, boys. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking cool. <laughs> 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 I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I'm starting, fellas, I'm starting to think this might not be the right way. After swallowing our pride, we searched up a YouTube tutorial and we found out that we have to go to this weird boat thing and select a level from there. Literally the most unintuitive thing I've ever seen. Look, maybe it's because we both decided we're too cool and skipped the tutorial, but honestly, I feel like it should be in the main book or like in the house that you start in, but ah, well, we got there eventually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not poking! It's not poking! I'm really bad at this combat style. Where'd my sword go? Okay, you know what? Okay. Alpha Palpatine, this bitch. Got it. Got it! That's the only way I know! <laughs> Unlimited power! <laughs> Fellas, how do we? Fellas, 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 let's uh, let's discuss this. All right, wait. This thing, this thing was pretty powerful before. Oh, oh my god. Why do I not? Okay, so I guess there is that mana thing, isn't there? Okay, you can like move. It's not even what. Okay, let's uh get confused. Okay. Oh my god. Fucking. Okay. Fucking just die. I'm so confused. This is not helping. I don't like this game. So that wasn't the greatest performance, but with me essentially being the guinea pig for this game, Lister felt pity, and let me have another go. <laughs> Fucking lose a leg, will ya? <laughs> Anakin! <laughs> Okay.
And so I managed to get 13 total kills. It was now Lister's turn. After a small break, anyway. So if I give you this rose, will you finger my bum? <laughs> These fucking shields are fucking, is it? <laughs> Fuck you. They're fucking watching. Oh, in the face, I asked. That's what I want. And so Lister managed to win this game, meaning it was all down to the final game, super hot. The rules of this game were simple. We'd keep going level for level, first person to die more than three times in the same level, losers. Lister decided to go first. Fuck off, man. That's so fucking early. Oh fuck, um, you put me in so my coach. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, kind of forgot about the guys on the left there. Hey, bud. Okay. Super hot. Super hot clip Lister. Lister must have been sweating now after my zero death run. However, we continue to go level for level until we reach level 10. Fittingly named the Graveyard. That was definitely that list. Okay. Execution, okay. I have bad memory. Oh fuck. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Lister, what the fuck am I meant to do? <laughs> I, d I didn't see a gun already. Been... Okay, that's... What just fucking happened? Okay, that one's a bit skits. Woo, you cheat.
cheeky little cunt. Right, let me, uh... Mate. A lesson I'm gonna need you to shut. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> Didn't even stretch for a second. Right. Do a graveyard then. So I guess we keep going until one of us dies three times doing one. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Ah oh, no, please. I have family. After a hard battle, I managed to win again. Meaning my win rate still remains 100%. Literally the GOAT. Challenge me if you dare. Never losing this spot. Literally going to be the greatest VR showdown player for the rest of my life. Like, come on, like 50 years, easy clap. 80 years, absolutely not a problem. 100 years, may maybe not there. Maybe somebody will finally come along and beat me after 100 years. But goddamn, up until that point, we're going to be the best goddamn VR showdown players of all time. And you cannot beat me. Maybe, probably, I don't know, actually, until, like, a real professional comes up. I mean, one day, I'm somebody will challenge me in, like, Beat Saber, and they're going to be absolutely fucking good at a Beat Saber. And, like, my, my, my past my past being good at the game is, is not going to hold up. I'm going to get absolutely clowned on. But that's okay. You know, sometimes you lose. But you know what? That day's not today, goddammit. And with all that wrapped up, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.